Hey Libra, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. It's the Nutcase Case Nicole. And I'm back again with the shenanigans here on the Nutcase Network. Libra, this is your what you need reading. Okay, so I hope you're ready to understand what you need. Remember the messages are general and they may not be for every Libra out there. So be sure to go with what you know. And remember time is fluid. It moves like water. It could be past, present, or future energy. Libra, if you want to see anything else in regards to your sign, be sure to check out your Libra playlist under my playlist tabs. And if you're really, you know, awake and you really know what's going on, you want to check out that Talk Time Tarot that we did. We are starting that series. Every month there will be a new video, okay? I also want to say thank you to all of my subscribers here at my channel. I really love and appreciate all of you guys. I appreciate all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. And all your love and support. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And we're going to see what you need to know, Libra, okay? So, Guardian Angel, thank you so much for your love and support for my Libras. Can you please show me what is the most prevalent issue going on in your in their, in their your life? Ooh, in their life right now. Or what is going to be the most prevalent issue that they're dealing with in the near future for my Libras? Okay, solar plexus chakra. So your gut, something you feel in your gut. Number three, okay. Um, oh, shit. And number three is at the bottom. Recognition and reward, okay. Now, the reason why I named this reading the What You Need reading is because you may enjoy those other tarot readers. You may like other tarot readers. You may even get advice from other places, but I'm what you need, okay? Because I'm gonna keep it all the way 100. And I understand that I've been a little forceful lately, so I will apologize to those of you who are offended. However, I'm gonna be who I am and I was raised by very strong black women and I just feel that I don't like bullshit. So that's why I'm what you need because I ain't finna fuck around with you, okay? And I got a bunch of Aquarius in my chart. This retrograde and all these planetary alignments is fucking my ass up. But back to what's going on with you, Libra, I feel like there's some something about the number 33, the number 3333, 3, 3, 3. something is significant about this number. I feel like 222, 212, 202 is also very significant, things that you may be seeing. The most prevalent issue that you have going on right now is... I feel like in your gut, you feel like you deserve more or you feel like you're worth more or there is something that you feel like maybe you're not being recognized for right now or that you deserve more recognition. You deserve a raise. You deserve some type of pay increase or somebody in your lo love life, family life, friendship life is not valuing who you are. Hmm. So the solar plexus chakra, that is number three. And that's like in your gut, okay? Or adrenal, okay, adrenal gland. That's what it says. The color is yellow. The sound is rom. The element is fire. The glands are the pancreas or the adrenal gland. Keywords, I can. So maybe you want somebody to see you for what you can do. Maybe they only see you for what you're not doing. They're not recognizing you for what you can do or what you actually put forth, like as far as effort. So the solar plexus chakra is located between the navel area just below the rib cage. It represents power, vitality, willpower, self-esteem, and confidence. The energy center where your emotions and feelings are recorded. This chakra is associated with clairsentience or inner feeling, which is the major psychic reception area. To balance this chakra, you may want to try yoga, dance, movement, or breath work with color. In addition, be aware of people who drain your energy. Workshops and classes that focus on empowerment will help you open and harmonize this area. Yeah, so I feel like you guys like are I feel like you guys are having some self-esteem issues, some confidence issues. Maybe you feel like you you don't have the power to move forward with someone, or you feel like they're not recognizing you for what you truly do or who you truly are. Yeah, somebody maybe is draining your energy and you feel like you're not giving what you're you're maybe some of y'all ain't giving what you what you're getting or but I really was not trying to say that. I was I felt like y'all feel that you are not getting what you give out. Something is not being reciprocated here. So let's use the self-love oracles to figure out what blockages or obstacles you may be facing in regards to this issue. What could be blocking you, my Libras? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Fuck with me. Okay. <laughs> so let's see what else is going on. And I 
like I really I don't know why I'm being urged to tell everybody about their playlist but definitely check it out okay it will not disappoint guardian angels what is the blockage or the obstacle in regards to this major issue or most prevalent issue with my Libras oh soul lesson nobility Gemini got this too hmm soul lesson again surrender sacral chakra and aura chakra Somebody else got this surrender card too. Number five and number 29, which equals 11. Okay. So there's something about your character that is blocking you here. Maybe you're not making ethical decisions, Libra. Maybe you want recognition so bad that you're, that you're sacrificing your ethics or your morals. Don't do that. And then surrender, I feel like you're trying to force something, either forcing a relationship or forcing, I don't know. I, I can't even remember if I said this during a Gemini reading, but maybe you have Gemini in your chart. But I feel like y'all are trying to force a, 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 a square peg into a circle hole or something like that. You making something. I feel like you're not surrendering to the universe. And because you're not surrendering to the universe, you're making unethical decisions or decisions that are not true to who you are deep down inside. Like in your gut, you know that you deserve more, but I feel like pfft, Libra, you may be going about it the wrong way. So let's see. This card comes to guide you to command your field, clear your aura and surround yourself with resounding love. When your aura is clear of subconscious garbage, ooh, that was a strong word, and feel... <laughs> And filled with the highest virtues, you attract positively charged energy. Your aura is your home. You live in it your whole life. And those who come close to you also share this space. So you could also be, mm, Libra, you could also be inviting someone into your space, into your energy that is making you make bad decisions or urging you, provoking you to make bad decisions. Okay. Your aura provides protection against disease and negative environmental influence while also projecting your intentions into the world. Mm. A powerful eighth chakra is noble like gold, automatically deflecting and filtering negative influence and radiating magnetic vibrancy. Your aura can be kept clean, be enriching, comforting, nurturing, powerful, and inspiring. Those in your company will feel the positive energies coming from you. Your aura becomes weak. If we, our aura becomes weak, if we behave in a diminished way and we also become vulnerable to viruses and the negative and aggressive attitudes of others. So there's either somebody around you who's making you susceptible to ne negative energy, or this is you spreading negative energy or making poor decisions or not being virtuous or noble. Your opportunity is, when working with the aura is to ensure that you maintain a noble attitude, even when under extreme pressure. When you behave in a noble manner and radiate your best qualities, you will feel happy within yourself and what you project will also benefit others. You have been, sh ooh, you have been stirred to raise awareness into your heart and your inner truth is becoming hard to ignore. So yeah, something is eating you up, okay? You know intuitively that you must align even more with your heart wisdom and truth so you can project this powerful unified energy through your aura and into the world in your heart. You know you came here with a unique purpose, a wonderful contribution to the co-creation of this golden era. So I feel like you need to surrender to your purpose. I feel like you also need to really watch the decisions that you make and watch the people that you hang around and i feel like there's something that's urging you like with the solar plexus chakra being kind of like in your stomach area that that relates to the gut to me i feel like something you i feel like your intuition or your spirit guides or god whoever you want to believe in is nudging you and urging you to do something you feel it in your gut that you have to do this but I feel like you're either ignoring it or you've been ignoring it for a long time and it's about to like blow, okay? Something you're not going to be able to ignore for much longer. So let's use the scoop deck. Guardian Angels, what are my Libras going to be facing in the near future? What is it that my Libras may be facing in the near future? 
Mirroring. Wow. Okay, so you first want to get this card. Experiencing similar energies. So there could be somebody around you who you're experiencing their energy. They're experiencing your energy or you guys are just mirroring each other. This could be a love interest, okay? Growth. Wow. You will grow from this situation. So I feel like you and somebody else are very closely aligned. You're very closely connected, Libra. And I feel like you guys are both attempting to have growth here or you're going to soon have growth because I feel like you're being urged to change something in your life, change a bad habit or change a way of thinking, Libra, that you've been stuck in for a long time. Yeah, childish, but it kind of came out in the reverse. So I feel like that's kind of an omen. You've been being very childish about something, but you're about to grow from this childish behavior because you no longer want to be in this childish, immature energy, Libra, okay? It's okay. We all act childish sometimes. It don't mean you're a bad person, but if you continue to perpetuate that negative energy, knowing damn well you don't want to be that person, you know, then that's when you fucked up, okay? The cleanse card, cleanse your space. So, yeah, you guys could be getting some sage, some Palo Santo. You could, you could be lighting this every day to cleanse, to try to remove this childish energy from your spirit, to grow, to help move forward. Okay, I feel like this is good. I feel like you're answering the call. You could be going to the Army or the Marines, Armed Forces, Navy, something like that. Christmas is at the bottom. Mm, so, so something significant. Ooh, and Thanksgiving is at the back. Jesus. So it's something significant about Christmas or Thanksgiving that you learned, something you learned about yourself at that point, something you realized, an epiphany that you had that caused you or propelled you into this growth or into this change of your attitude, okay? So we're going to get some romance angels trying to get some more insight on this. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe because this is what you need, okay? I don't give a fuck how many of them videos you listen to about how motherfuckers gonna come back. Oh, they're gonna start talking. Oh, they're just hiding their feelings. They ain't saying nothing, but they really love you so deeply. Okay, yeah, I'm tired. I guess I must be tired of that shit because I'm still gonna make videos like that to let you know how people feel about you. But I feel like this is more important. This is what you need right now. That's why I said they may be what you want. <laughs> but boo, I'm what you need. Okay. So, Guardian Angels, can you give me more insight on this situation for my Libras? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. What else is going on with my Libras, Guardian Angels, that you can offer? Ooh, deception. See? Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. So, you was either lying to someone else or you was lying to yourself. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So I feel like you want to grow from some deceptive behavior. You want to move forward from it. You don't want to lie anymore. I feel like maybe you were being deceptive because somebody was being deceptive to you. But two wrongs don't make a right. And I feel like you realized that or somebody else did. Okay. And I'm no longer going to continue. Whatever way you want to flip it, y'all flip it how you want. But I'm reading for Libra. I consider this to be Libra's issue. So you can flip it however you want in your mind. But I'm focusing on Libra. Okay. Okay. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I feel like you were being deceptive, Libra, to somebody. When y'all were getting to know each other, you weren't showing your true self or you were wearing a false mask. You weren't expressing your true feelings. And I feel like you wanted a relationship to grow or you wanted it to flourish into something else. But you were being kind of childish in the way you were handling it. And I feel like either this person was mirroring you and you got and you felt like they were lying to you because they felt like you were lying to them. It's a whole bunch of complicated shit. Or this is what somebody did to you. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I feel like you're trying to cleanse your energy. I, I feel like you're trying to grow up. Passion is at the bottom, okay? And past life relationship. So you could really feel a soul tie to someone who maybe you were be acting childish with. Maybe you were trying to get to know this person and you felt like they were lying to you. And you, in, in turn, instead of being the bigger person, you kind of mirrored this deception. You played into the games. You played into the bullshit. Okay? And I also feel like, you know, it's safe for you to love if you cleanse this childish energy from your spirit. I feel like that's what you're doing or whatever childish energy that tit for tat shit. I feel like you're realizing that if somebody's being deceptive with you, Libra, you're just going to walk away. I don't think you're going to play into the games anymore because I feel like you're growing from that and you're just over it. You want to just be you, you want to be free with this cleanse card. 
Maybe this is somebody you were dealing with during the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. But I feel like you just want to be free of the bullshit. Wow. We're going to get some more information from this little Maruka deck, okay? Y'all be sure to subscribe. Because I don't be fucking around. It'd be some real ass shit. Like, honestly, like, when are we going to actually get down to the nitty gritty of what needs to change as a human race? Come on. We just going to keep talking about the same old motherfuckers that we waiting on coming back? No. <laughs> That's tired. <laughs> like a dollar store wig, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> what other information, Guardian Angels, can you offer for my Libras? Thank you so much. I feel like this is your other card. Okay. Because it was sticking out. Humor. Oh, I love that I can joke around with you and have so much fun. Oh, my God. So I feel like somebody was being serious here with you, trying to get to know you, and you were you were acting like it was a game. You were playing. Serial dater. I like to date many people. Don't take it personal. Mm, mm, mm. So you were being childish. You were being a serial dater. You possibly were keeping people in entanglements because we got two threes up here. Maybe you felt like this person was doing it to you, so you did it to them. But I feel like you have a lot of passion for this person. I feel like you know that you guys have a spiritual connection, but you were still playing games. Waiting, okay, is at the bottom. I awaited, the awaited date finally arrives. I'm so happy to finally have this moment with you. So either you wanted to really be with this person and you was playing games, still trying to play the field, being a little childish and immature, taking everything as a joke when they were serious, or this is what somebody did to you. Revealing heart. I want to open, I want to be open and honest about my feelings with you. So, ooh. So maybe this person, if they was playing games with you, maybe they're finally deciding to open up, tell you how they truly feel. They're going to clear up whatever deception or problems that you guys had because they feel it was a past life relationship. Maybe this is what you're waiting on this person to do. Maybe this is what you want them to do. Or maybe this is what somebody wants you to do and stop playing games. Because they know that it's a soul connection. Or you know that it's a soul connection. So let's see what else is coming towards you, Libra. This is the Modern Love Tarot deck. All of my decks are in the description box. Definitely check out the other videos in your playlist. They may not be your story, but I feel like... Some things that I might say to you guys that doesn't make sense could definitely be a prediction or it could be a warning. So, take heed. Fuck these niggas. Hey, isn't, isn't that like, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know where that came from. I'm going to just be honest. I don't even, I feel like that comes on in the beginning of rap songs. Somebody's producer logo or something. Maybe you're a producer shit. Maybe you make things, you create. Okay. So, Guardian Angels, what else is coming towards my Libras in the near future? Ooh, death. Woo! So, you could have a Scorpio coming towards you. Or you could be in a situation, putting an end to the bullshit with somebody. Death card. You could be seeing butterflies, too. Putting an end to the indecision with this Two of Swords. At the, ooh, putting an end to the... Indecision and third parties, okay? Maybe you're maybe you're a try maybe you've decided that you want to renew something because death can also be rebirth. With this three of cups, I feel like maybe you want to reconcile with someone who you were being indecisive with, or this is the energy coming towards you. Maybe a Scorpio wants to reconcile with you because they were being indecisive, keeping you in entanglements, not choosing you, or this is what you were doing to someone else. Or you're just putting an end to third parties because you're tired of being childish. What else is coming towards my Libras? Okay, Empress Energy. Major Arcana's on deck, Libra. Taurus, Libra and Taurus Energy, Scorpio Energy. Okay, some of you guys could be getting an abortion. Honestly, I'm just going to... I'm Listen, I'm going to make it plain because I be tired of tiptoeing around y'all motherfuckers sometimes. And I'm going to apologize. If I have been forceful, I have a lot of Aquarius in my chart and I'm not going to make excuses, but we are in a heavily populated Aquarius planetary alignment. Whatever's going on with the planets is a lot of fucking Aquarius and I have Aquarius in my moon and I have Aquarius in my Venus. 
And I was raised by very strong black women. I'm a minority. I don't sugarcoat shit and I don't fucking bullshit. So I'm sorry if it's come. I apologize if it's come off in a negative way. That's not my intention. But I'm not going to fuck around with y'all. Keeping it real. So I feel like you could be putting an end to a pregnancy here or getting an abortion for my females. Or if you're a male, there could be someone who's telling you that they're getting an abortion or that they're pregnant and they don't want to keep it. Or you could be in a situation with someone who you have kids with, okay? The mother, father, baby mama, baby daddy, a common law, y'all know the drill, ex-husband, ex-wife. You could be in a situation with this person, but I also feel like you're also reinventing yourself, Libra. I feel like with this death card, you're putting an end to this childish past. You may be putting an end to the serial dating. You may be trying to grow and cleanse your energy and put an end to this deception and, and be, be able to grow something with somebody. Grow a true relationship with somebody. Okay, what else is... Okay, lovers. Ooh, Gemini energy. So you want to grow some type of love situation or you want to... I feel like you want to invest in or I want to say manifest a love connection here. You could be producing some type of contract. You could be a producer, shit. You could be producing some type of contract or making, creating some type of contract for someone. You could be hiring someone here. You could have just terminated someone and hired someone else. Or that you could have just left a job and found a new one that you actually love. Okay, no. Can I get one more for what's coming towards my Libras? A new start, though. I saw the Fool card. A new beginning in love, possibly. Uh, what else is coming towards my Libras? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All right. Five of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like you are wanting to put an end to being left out in the cold here with the five of pentacles. I feel like, to be honest with you, this could be something that somebody did to you, Libra, but I feel like you've been playing games. I, mean, I feel like you've been playing around, laughing, playing around, okay? You definitely like the fact that you could, you're passionate about someone. You want to get to know this person. I feel like you're trying to get comfortable with loving this person because you feel a past life connection with them and there's a lot of passion between you. And I feel like in your gut, it's telling you that this is the person you need to be with. But maybe you're a little prideful. Maybe there's a little ego, e eagle, ego here with the recognition and reward. You feel like maybe they don't. Oh, my God. And it's a number. Oh, my God, y'all. It's another fucking three underneath it. God dang. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. so are you trying to decide between somebody are you are you feeling a little prideful are you feeling yourself a little bit too much and you feeling like in your gut you need to make a change okay because i feel like you are already in a relationship with somebody you already have a wife a, a husband a baby mama baby daddy whoever that you are maybe the person you're having kids with you're you're thinking about ending it with this person because you're truly in love with somebody else or your soulmate is someone else because the lover's card could be a soulmate card as well that you're not talking to someone who maybe didn't want to deal with you being a serial dater or this is a, yeah and i knew that boss energy Someone who didn't want to deal with you being a serial dater someone who wanted to take things more serious and you weren't ready to be serious but you have a lot of passion for this person. They could be a Taurus, Libra, a Scorpio, a Gemini. But I feel like you're definitely watching this person or someone is watching you, period. I feel like you could also be asking for help from an authority figure, from your father, from your mother. There's a pair here now. Well, not really, but I mean, it's at the bottom of the deck. Could be an Aries, maybe Aquarius or Scorpio for sure is what we're getting. But I feel like something about you wanting to control the situation is causing problems here. I feel like you're also... Um, I feel like there's an issue in your home life here. There's a problem with children. There's either like you're stressed because of your kids... 
You're not getting to see your kids. You're, there's separation from you and your kids. Or there's drama between someone who you have children with. And that may be why you're ending it with this person. Maybe you have to get a divorce. And maybe this person is taking your kids away. Like this is honestly very similar to Leo. So you may have some Leo in your chart. You may be dealing with a Leo. Okay, what's the death in the Empress card? Okay. Wow. Yeah, I feel like you want to work on something. It was the Queen of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, but I only want one at a time. So I feel like you're definitely in love with somebody. You want to express it to them, but you're scared of whether or not they're going to reciprocate it. I feel like you're wanting to put in teamwork, but I feel like you're trying to observe this person to see if they're going to reciprocate your love. What's the death in the Empress card? Ah! Okay, whatever. <laughs> Y'all see my frustration? The strength card. So, yeah. You're, I feel like you're, you're... There's something that you're not letting go of, though, Libra, okay? I feel like there's something that you're holding on to that you don't want to walk away from. Or you're trying to stop yourself from walking away from maybe your kids, your family. But it's like someone is making it hard for you to be a mother or a father. But I really feel like you could have walked away from this person to go towards another love or someone who you feel like is a past life connection, soulmate. You're cutting ties with someone. I feel like you're holding back from someone or you're holding back from this person who you have children with or who you were married to or who you were previously dealing with. You could definitely be getting a divorce. I'm going to just keep it real. What's the lovers in the five of pentacles? What for my Libras? I keep want to call y'all Leo. Oh my God. So you could definitely be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. The world card. Wow. So you're definitely, you're cutting something off from somebody. The strength, the eight of cups in the world, you're cutting something off from somebody. You're holding back strong. You are, I feel like you're trying to be strong to walk away because it's really hard. You could have a codependent attachment to someone here, Libra, or this is someone how, this is how someone feels about you. But I really feel like this is you trying to hold back or, or maybe, I feel like maybe you don't want to walk away. Maybe you're trying to hold on or you tried to hold on as long as you could. But you have to walk away and end this. There's no way around it. Damn, I just heard the fucking future song. Ain't no way around it. Uh, a bitch gonna be a bitch. A hoe gonna be a hoe. Something, something, something. All you need to know. I don't know. Ain't no way around it. Ooh, you just got a lot of major arcanas here. You got the world, you got the lovers, you got the empress, you got strength, you got death. Wow. So there's a major change that you're going through here. I feel like you want to put an end to being left out from this person or there's somebody who you really want to talk to who's not talking to you and you're tired of it. You want to speak to this person. You want to, I feel like you want to kiss this person. I feel like you want to go to them and like embrace them and just kiss them and like hold them in your arms. But maybe you're, Maybe you're holding yourself back. And I feel like that could be what your guardians are telling you. Something that you're fighting against in your gut that you feel. Because you're holding on to something else. Or this is what you were doing. But now you're getting ready to walk away. Or that's what somebody's doing to you. The world card is Jupiter, right? Mm. So the world no saturn mm, i thought it was jupiter but whatever it could be sag capricorn or aquarius or possibly pisces maybe leo libra taurus gemini scorpio damn near everybody got name okay but i feel like you're ready to give to a situation or you're wanting to give to a situation here you're wanting there to be balance in your life and you feel like you're imbalanced because there's something in your gut that you're fighting what's the strength card and the eight of cups Ooh, ace of pentacles so you're holding this offer back. What's the Eight of Cups in the world? What's the Eight of Cups in the world for my Libras? You're holding back, making an offer. Ooh, I don't know who you finna pick. Because I feel like there's three people here. There's you and two other people you're dealing with. Damn, the Sun card. I didn't even look at the goddamn card. I flipped the bitch over and didn't even look at it. I feel like Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius is strong. Libra, possibly. 
maybe Gemini. So I feel like you're wanting to make an offer to someone here. I feel like you're wanting to put an end to being left out in the cold. You want to be with your soulmate, the person who makes you happy. I feel like you're ready to move on and end any old cycles in your life towards either someone new who makes you happy or the person who you've been holding yourself back from that makes you happy. It's becoming very hard for you to hold back from this person. It's becoming very hard for you to juggle these people. I feel like I feel like also work is getting to you as well. It's, be, it's becoming very stressful at work. I feel like you're distracted thinking about your love life. I feel like you're trying to balance all your responsibilities of your family. If you have a family with this other person, I really feel like that is the case. It's either a marriage, baby mama situation, baby daddy situation, whatever. Or you have joint assets together. You have a business with somebody from your past. And you're trying to maintain your responsibilities, but also live for yourself. And it's like working with this person who you have a past with is starting to become a burden. You're ready to release it. I feel like you're wanting to meet somebody new, go towards somebody new, put an end to this old cycle. But I feel like it's, you're going towards somebody new who you were with, but that maybe you deceived or maybe you weren't very upfront about what you had going on. And you was always playing games and being childish. What's the Ace of Pentacles and the Sun? Don't nobody get mad at Astro Queen when she chewing y'all out. Ooh. <laughs> so let's check ourselves. What's the Ace of Pentacles and the Sun card? Ooh, Four of Swords fell right on. Ooh. Yeah, so it's somebody who you have not been talking to. But I feel like making this decision is very much so tiring you out. I feel like thinking about starting something new is also tiring you out, even though you know that's what's going to make you happy. But I feel like ultimately you're not going to express any of these feelings to whoever you want to express them to. I feel like you're going to keep on juggling. Okay. Or three of wands, another motherfucking three. You could possibly keep on entertaining these third parties. You're, But you're waiting on somebody from your past to come back, I feel like. Or... You're wanting to go find a soulmate. I feel like you're... Okay, so even if you're not... Put, throw that shit in the trash if you're not waiting on somebody. Somebody is watching this video that's waiting on somebody from their past to come back. And they're just going to sit here and be quiet. Because even though they want to make this offer and making this offer would make them happy. It's like taxing them to even think about it. So they're going to ignore this. But for some of you, I feel like you're just looking for a soulmate. You just want to have passion with somebody. You want to put an end to your old cycles. And you want to move forward with someone who you can trust, who you can make memories with. And I feel like that's what you're looking forward to. But it's something that you ain't doing. I, I, I just, Libra, I can't help but to think it's something that you're not doing or something that you're ignoring here. Something that you don't want to deal with, with this four of swords. Maybe you don't want to be the first one to speak, talk to this person, but there are a whole lot of goddamn threes on the floor. Damn, what did I, why did I just hear that song? Real girls get down on the flow, on the flow. Damn. You want to put somebody on the flow? Libra, watch yourself. Calm your ass down. Well, if you want to do it, don't calm your ass down. Go ahead and do it. I just heard in my head when I said calm your ass down, I heard my guardian angel say, no, Libra, you need to actually not calm that ass down. Okay, so what is the messages that my um, guardian angels, what are the messages that my Libra spirit guides, God, whoever they believe in, want them to know in regards to this situation? The answers you need are coming. Ooh, full moon in Gemini. Like I said, you got Leo out here strong, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, and Scorpio. Possibly Aquarius. Okay, what else? What else do my Libra's guardian angels want them to know? Their spirit guides. Father God, what do you want my Libra's sent out? Okay. Ooh, too many. Can I just get two more for my Libra's, please? Ooh, blue again. Okay, take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Take some deep reflective breaths can i just get one more okay conclusions are within reach so it's in re it's within reach what you want but i feel like you're the one who has to do it 
I'm going to just be real, Libra. Conclusions are within reach. Take a deep breath and, and draw the conclusion and, and act on it. And stop being scary. Stop trying to ignore shit. I, I'm just keeping it real, okay? I'm just, I, I feel like you're ignoring something or this is what somebody's doing to you. Whatever. The answers you need are coming. Work through your fears. Okay, Scorpio. It's time to release negativity, Scorpio, again. Wow. So it's a strong Scorpio out in this bitch. Gemini, Leo, Libra, Taurus. Let's see what's the most important angel answer for you. Oh. I feel like whoever... Mm, mm. I also feel like Libra, y'all are trying to start something back up with your with your past, with an ex, with with the mother, father of your kids, because you feel this attachment to them, but they don't really pay you no fucking mind, and they hold back from you. They always play with your heart, walk away from you. I feel like it's time to end that fucking cycle, cause that shit is whack. I'm tired. When I just thought about that, like I got extremely exhausted. Okay, so let me, let, okay. What's the most important angel answer for my Libras, guardian angels? What's the most important angel answer? Ooh, a year from now. Okay. So maybe y'all get the courage a year from now. I guess. Compromise. Maybe you'll decide to finally compromise a year from now. Because I feel some pride going on here. I, I can't lie. Helpful people is at the back. So Libra, I hope this message has helped you guys. I do love y'all very much. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed. And don't let none of these motherfuckers steal your jug. Bye, Libra.